crowd of local and foreign media was gathered outside the subordinate court on Monday as the inquiry to find out how American researcher Shane Todd died got underway. Dr. Todd was found hanged in his apartment on 24th June 2012 in an apparent suicide. But his parents believe he was murdered because of his work. On day one of the coroner's inquiry into the death of American researcher Shane Todd, several of his friends were called to take the stand to testify on Dr. Todd's state of mind at the time and if he displayed any suicidal tendencies. Girlfriend at the time, Shirley Samiento, said that Dr. Todd told her he was feeling depressed because of work, but also that he felt that his work could get him into trouble and that heavy hands were coming after him. In a packed courtroom, the first witness, Ms. Samiento, said that ever since his transfer to another project at the Institute of Microelectronics, Dr. Todd had felt depressed, partly because his new team were mostly Chinese and spoke in Mandarin. He had even asked Ms. Sarmiento, who is a nurse at Tan Tok Seng Hospital, if depression can be cured. Earlier, Senior State Counsel Tai Wei Xiong revealed in his opening statement that Dr. Todd had visited several suicide-related websites before his death. Mr. Tai also read out the document, which seemed like a suicide note to his family and friends. The police found a note by assessing his laptop with a password left on a post-it pad. Speaking to the media at the end of the day's proceedings, Mr. Tai reiterated the key points of the case. First and foremost, the autopsy report. Uh, the Singapore autopsy report provided that the death was by asphyxia due to hanging. Uh, there is a conflicting report that the next of kin have produced and we have presented this to the court. We hope very much uh, that their expert, Dr. Edelstein, will be able to come to Singapore and give evidence. The other areas of evidence which are important relate first of all to the suicide notes. Uh, they were found at the scene. And then there was evidence today uh, from Shane's friends and his girlfriend relating to his behaviour and demeanour before he died. Uh, finally, there was also mention in my opening statement uh, about computer forensic evidence. Uh, which in a case like this is important because it will allow you to piece together certain events uh, that were going on before his death and what was going on in his mind. Out of the eight witnesses called to the stand today, four were police officers and paramedics who attended to the crime scene on 24th June last year. They told the court that they had cut a black strap to release Dr. Todd's hanging body from the toilet door. When asked by the counsel representing Dr. Todd's parents why they had altered the crime scene, the officers explained it was the protocol in hanging cases to bring the subject down immediately so that paramedics could have access to the subject. They also said there were no signs of a break-in or ransack and no signs of a struggle. The inquiry continues tomorrow.